All right, welcome everybody. In this video, we'll be looking at the clean. So how we are going to clean up our character um, for a rotating view specifically. So uh, we will start with the front view. The reason why we start with the front view, and this is the only one that we'll clean, is that because we'll be doing a rotating rig and doing such, we'll have to reuse those different pieces and kind of just move them using pegs and deformation to create those new poses that we have here. So um, instead of drawing each and every single one of those other views, we'll basically just recreate them using the pieces that we have in the front view. And the reason why we're starting with the front view is that pieces will distort a lot better from a piece that hasn't already been distorted. So for instance, if I have one that is kind of skewed and a lot smaller and the pupil is actually scaled down a little bit or this one for instance it'll be much better to go from this one here and scale it down into something like this rather than the opposite um, so we'll be starting with this one we also have to kind of keep in mind certain things as we start cleaning up our character such as designing the unseen um, when I'm talking about designing the unseen, I'm talking about, for instance, the tail, which we have um, over here in some of the other views, but not in the front one, doesn't necessarily mean that it's not there. Um, we're also talking about a uh, little more subtle changes, such as uh, the back of the ear, which will have also uh, kind of appearing. We don't see it until we get to the side view. We have this part here that starts appearing and eventually kind of takes up the entire ear as it rotates. So um, this is some of the stuff that I'm talking about when talking about designing the on-scene. So even though you don't necessarily see it in the first view, uh, we will have to create a piece for that. We will have to break it down into its own separate thing. So make sure that you include those inside of your clean, um, even if you just design them in one of the other layers. So um, let's go ahead and create a little uh, node where we'll use our clean. This is something that we've done in the other uh, cleaning tutorials of the previous rigging courses. So I won't necessarily uh, teach you guys how to clean. Um, I'll show you actually the final result that we have here. One important thing I would say is just basically make sure that your character is centered inside of your camera view just to kind of design it in the right place right away and this way you can clean up on top of it and have basically just the entire character. Um, so you'll notice that in the ref that we have here some of the pieces don't necessarily have line. Uh, I preferred going with something that has a line uh, to then later just basically disable it or thin it out in certain places. So. Um, I think this makes it a little bit easier visually to kind of tell what you've already done and what you haven't done. So you can kind of see what I did for the clean here. I did design the back part of the ears. I have uh, the different pieces for the neck, the arms and the legs. Uh, we have the entire body as well. I overlapped a little bit with some of the pieces because we'll be uh, invert cutting those into the um, the rig a little bit later. Even if you haven't done that, this is fine. We can always come back to that later and readjust those pieces. The idea is to have as little as possible to redo once we break them down. You'll also notice that I've included the ellipses uh, over here inside of the arm and uh, you can put those inside the legs, the torso, as you can see here. So this is always a big help for um, creating the articulations later. Again, not necessarily a step that you have to do right now, but definitely something that we'll have to uh, get through in the breakdown of the pieces. And the breakdown is going to be just that. Our next step, so you guys make sure that you have your entire clean setup over here and we'll be able to uh, go through that second step in the next video.